I know that in my role as the face of my two companies and this YouTube channel and my podcast, that I should be on social media more. I should be tweeting a lot more than I do. The problem is I run two companies. I have this YouTube channel and I have a podcast that I put out every week. And while I love putting that content out, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of my best glucose to put out quality, actionable stuff for you to consume every week. And I really find that there isn't much left for social media, for my 280 character friend, Twitter. But as an entrepreneur, I'm keenly aware of when I can make excuses for not getting stuff done. And so I've asked myself constantly, how can I make this work? How can I make it happen instead of just saying, it's too hard, I'm not gonna do it. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk through the process that I've used for repurposing content I'm already creating because there's already a ton of content going out on this YouTube channel to tens of thousands of people, on my podcast feed, Startups for the Rest of Us, to tens of thousands of people. And that content is great for Twitter. So after scouring the internet for AI tools that could help repurpose the content I'm already creating into full Twitter threads that communicate all or most of the message of the audio or video, I found there are a lot of crappy tools. There's a lot of tools that don't, they don't do a good job of it, even though they advertise that they do. But I did find two tools that when I chained them together, cut out a huge amount of the manual work that I would otherwise be doing to create amazing Twitter threads. So in this video, I'm going to show you the steps that I've used to create an actual Twitter thread from one of our recent YouTube videos. And if you stick around till the end, I'm gonna cover a third tool that you've also probably never heard of that is pretty incredible. It blew my mind when I saw what it can do with audio. I'm Rob Walling. I've started six companies, five of them bootstrapped. I've invested in more than 125 startups and I've written four books on entrepreneurship. As the source for this tweet thread, I'm gonna start with a SaaS ideas video that went live about a month and a half ago. SaaS ideas to build right now that will make you $10,000 or more in MRR. And after looking at half dozen or so tools that would either start with a YouTube video or the full transcript and turn it into, I was trying to get it to turn it into some type of Twitter thread. I realized that turning it into more of a blog post first was an intermediate step that I had to take. So eventually I found a tool called Al write.ai as you can see here and if I click create I can either paste a transcript or I can import directly from YouTube so when I enter the URL of that video you'll see that it is pulling in the transcript and I've realized I like to do some minor edits to the transcript before I have it generate the document otherwise it thinks that it's in a video so the intro the I'm Rob Walling part it isn't relevant I don't want that in the tweet thread and so I pull out the intro and the outro once I've saved it, I go to the articles tab and then I can click generate. And it's interesting, first it'll generate the first segment of the article and I'm supposed to read through it and tweak it and it will then use that to generate the next piece and the next piece. So for example, in the tweet thread, I don't want it to say in this episode of the MicroConf podcast. So I made a little tweak to the intro, I'll hit generate again. It does take about 20 seconds every time I hit generate, but if you look at it, it pulled in the ideas and it even pulled in the bonus idea, which is pretty cool. So once we have the completed article, now is the time to turn it into a tweet thread. In order to do that, I copy and paste all the text into my second tool, Typefully. Paste it in here, make a thread, and now you'll see it's not formatted very well, but all the text is in here and it's broken down. And I can do neat things like auto numbering, and I like this style of numbering. So already we can see I have 28 tweets and it will auto number them and there's still cleanup to do. I bet it'll take me 30 minutes of moving text around, tweaking some things to make it a better thread and a, less of a blog post, more of a thread, adding images, etc. So let's skip ahead to that point. So I spent about 45 minutes coming in, adding an intro and an outro, and really just spacing these out and making them more easily read in a tweet thread. And you see we're down from, I think, 28 tweets down to 16, which is a more manageable number. I have a lot more hyperlinks. Those will appear essentially as, as nice image cards in the tweets. And if I wanted to spend more time, I could also add images. I've done that in the past as well. Typefully makes it extremely easy. Here's the AI piece of Typefully that I was fascinated to find. They have something called Vesper AI that's built in and I can ask it to fix grammar and improve the layout, to condense, to mix it up. I actually used this as I was making this punchier in essence. So let's look at the first tweet, which is just the intro. Let's try to make it punchier. I think I like my intro better. Let's try it again. Wait, that's the same intro. You can see AI uh, it isn't infallible for sure. Let's try a different tweet. 
I'd like to see if I can make this one punchier. I do like this, so let's replace that. I'm gonna replace one word. And as you can see, you could go through one by one. There's, you know, you only have a limited number of Vesper AI credits, but they're extremely inexpensive. And it takes a lot of the heavy lifting out of creating a tweet thread. The nice part is in Typefully, I'm able to preview it like the thread will look. I can schedule it or publish it directly. In a second, I'm going to talk about a third AI tool that blew my mind when I heard the audio it produced. But before I do that, I want to call out Startups for the Rest of Us. It's the sister podcast to this YouTube channel. On that podcast, I talk for about 30 or 40 minutes every week about building, launching, and growing SaaS products. I do interviews with amazing founders and amazing authors. It's been running for 13 years. We have more than 650 episodes. And you should check it out wherever greater podcasts are served. That's startups for the rest of us. The bonus AI tool, the amazing audio creation that I wanted to tell you about is something you've just experienced. I'm curious if you noticed that my voice as I made the startups for the rest of us announcement is just a little off. Sounds like I had a cold. Sounds like I'm using a different microphone. I want to call out startups for the rest of us. It's the sister podcast to this YouTube channel. That voice you just heard, the entire segment about startups for the rest of us, was auto-generated by an AI that I trained using clips of my voice. It's called Eleven Labs. If you enjoyed this video and are looking for more, I'd love it if you'd hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I push out a video every week about online entrepreneurship, about building SaaS companies, integrating AI, everything you can do to change your life through entrepreneurship. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.